Hello, um, my name is Rebecca and I am the operations manager um, for InfoSecurity this year. And this is Olivia and she is the operations executive for the show. Um, we just wanted to run through some information that might be useful um, in terms of leading up to the show from an operational point of view, just to give you an oversight of some things to consider um, when perhaps planning your stands. So the first thing we just wanted to run for you through was um, the build-up times that are relevant for this show. So if you're a space-only stand or a shell skin stand, these times differ. So if you're a space-only stand, you're, you can start, um, you can come on site and start to build from Saturday the 1st um, and Sunday the 2nd of June. If you're a shell skin exhibitor, you gain access on the 3rd of June. The reason for this is, if you're a space-only stand, you're building from scratch, so therefore need some more time. Um, and as a shell scheme exhibitor, you have to allow a little bit of time for our stand contractor, GES, to build your stand, then you can gain access to um, dress. Um, as you can see on the screen, you can see all the um, opening times and when you can gain access during when the show is open. Um, all of this information you will be able to find in the exhibitor manual, which will have been sent to you when you first signed up for the show. If for whatever reason you have not yet received this information, please do let us know and we can forward it on. Um, and also in here you will be able to find the breakdown times. Breakdown will commence as soon as all of the visitors have left um, the show, basically. Um, as soon as every visitor is out, you can start to break down your stands um, and you can start to use trolleys, etc. There will be an announcement made so that you will know when breakdown does begin. Um, but just to note, we cannot officially start breakdown until everyone has left, but again, you will be notified when that is. So I will just pass on to uh, Liv to run through the different types of stands that we have at the show this year. Okay, so we have a number of different shell um, options. We have the premium, the standard, and the FTE um, discovery and startup. The FTE discovery and startup are all the same. They will be different colored phages, but that is the design that you're seeing on the screen right now. Um, we also have the space only option, um, and that's literally you will just um, be provided with the space. Uh, anything that you do above that, you will need to provide yourself. Um, we do have an in-house stand build solution smart space. Um, I'll just hand over to my colleague Ross to give you a little bit more information about that. Hi everyone. Uh, as Liv said, my name is Ross Curran and I work on smart space. Uh, I'm here today to talk a bit about smart space um, and the services we can offer to enhance your exhibiting experience. Um, I also would like to discuss best practices when creating your brief and working on your design for the show. I will be around throughout the day, so if you do have any questions or you're interested in the service, please come and, please come and grab me. So what is SmartSpace? SmartSpace is Read Exhibition's in-house design and build service. The service is available to exhibitors taking space only of 12 square meters and above. Um, but if you have booked shelves, uh, Yes, yeah, Shell Scheme, and you're interested in the service, please don't hesitate to come and contact me. Uh, we'd be happy to discuss what options are available to you. So we've worked on InfoSec for several years now. 2018 was a very successful year for us, and as a result of that, many of our exhibitors are coming back in 2019 and will be working with us again. For the first time in 2019, we're launching enhanced packages so these packages will give you the look and feel of a bespoke uh, design, and if you don't have time to pull together a brief or anything, these off-the-shelf options give you a really good, uh, good-looking stand. So why smart space? There's thousands of contractors out there that are going to want to work with you at the show, but with smart space, uh, we're not just a company that InfoSec is recommending to you. We're part of the same companies, part of the same organisation. <laughs> So we have a vested interest. It's in our benefit that you have a successful show. So we don't just want to provide you with a stand design, we really want to enhance your exhibiting experience and take all the pain and stress out of it for you. We offer a no obligation tailored design. So we'd ask you for your brief and your budget and then we would do a design for you and if you choose to go a different route, that's absolutely fine. There's lots of uh, time consuming things that you have to take into consideration when going ahead with a space only stand. 
the submission of stand plans, health and safety documentation, and I'm pleased to say we would take care of all of that for you as well. We also offer dedicated on-site support, so we'll be with you throughout the build-up and also when the majority of contractors tend to go home uh, after your, show, your stand's built and the show has opened, we will be on site throughout the build. So should you uh, need a light bulb changed or need to, um, some more furniture if you've got a bigger meeting than you expected, we'll have people on hand to, to help with that should you, so you can, you can get on with what you're there to do. So I'd just like to uh, show you some of the designs that we have on offer. So the first is the system design, which I mentioned. It's made up of modular parts, so similar to the shell scheme, but we can be a bit more creative with this. We can add a fascia, so that would give you um, high level branding, so you can be seen from around the hall. It's a very cost effective solution, and if you are wanting to take that step up from shell scheme, but you are on a budget, this would be a great solution for you. Alternatively, we do traditional build designs. So these are our most popular design and they are really, they will really help you stand out amongst your competitors in the hall. It's a turnkey service, so we take care of absolutely everything for you. You don't need to worry about ordering anything, electrics, AV, furniture, it's all included in our, uh, in our package. So the price for both of these is completely dependent on your requirements. If you have five screens or one screen, that obviously has an impact. Um, but if you want some ballpark figures, come and grab me and I'll be happy to discuss those with you. So now you know a bit about Smart Space, it's time to start considering your objectives for the show and how design can help with this. So communication is key. Take time to write a brief and work with whoever you decide to design your stand to make sure that they fully understand that. Consider your primary focus for the show. If you're going to have a demo heavy stand or if your reason for being there is to meet with new clients or if you just want to offer hospitality to um, existing customers. Consider your budget. If you can let us know this in advance, we'll make sure that we work to this and we'll take into consideration everything you want and we'll design accordingly. So once you've given that some thought, if you can send us over your details, we've got a team of designers who are ready and waiting to get started on putting your thoughts together. So that's all from me. Uh, thank you very much. And as I said, I'm around for the rest of the day should you wish to uh, come and discuss the service further. Thank you. Okay, so if you do have a space only stand, there are a couple of regulations that you do need to adhere to. Um, these are all covered in the manual um, quite extensively, but I've just picked out a few this morning to run through with you. Um, so rigging. Um, so this year, rigging is only permitted for structural support of a stand up to six metres. Um, so no branded items um, are permitted to be rigged this year. Um, walling, long runs of walling on an open side, um, that is restricted as well. So just one third of any open side can be a solid wall. Um, if you did want to have more than that, then you would have to step it in by half a metre. Um, dividing walls can only be a maximum of four metres unless you are a two-storey stand, in which case you can build up to six metres. Um, height, obviously we do have the mezzanine at Olympia, so there are different height restrictions in certain parts of the hall. Um, if you are, uh, if you do have questions about the height of your stand, um, then please email the inbox. Uh, the ops inbox and we will be able to tell you um, the height that you can build to. Catering, this obviously applies to both space only and shell stands. Um, you are only allowed to use levies um, for your catering. If you did want to bring in an external caterer that would have to be approved by levies. Um, there is a concession or corkage fee for an external caterer. Um, so do, if you, again, if you do have questions about this then please do uh, email the inbox. Um, we do have Levy's with us here today, so if you do want to speak to them, we can arrange that. They do actually have a stand um, at the back of the hall, um, um, so yeah, if they're displaying a couple of items that they can provide you, um, so please do go and have a word with them if you do get the chance. Uh, the manual. Um, so this is either available online or via a PDF, which you can get by emailing the inbox. Um, so. I don't know if any of you have actually accessed the portal, um, but this is the email address you use to do that. Um, so you just log in, enter your username and password. 
Scroll down to services, click on services, and you will find the exhibitor manual in that section of the portal. Okay, so I'll just pass over to my colleague Rebecca to go through the online stand check system, SCS. So SCS is our space only stand approval um, program. If you are a space only stand, you are permitted um, to submit all of your documents via this system. Um, what we require from you is a detailed visual, um, including dimensions and as much detail about orientation and things like that as possible. As well as that, we require a risk assessment and a method statement. If you have got a stand that is above four meters or a stand that is double deck, it is classed as complex, so we would also require some structural calculations from you. Um, this is then put for our systems and um, read operations and the structural engineers will check through all of this to make sure they're happy with, with it all. Um, the system itself is very simple to use. It's quite self-explanatory, um, but you can essentially log on um, via the details on the screen. Again, you can find all of this information in the exhibitor manual. Um, the system itself has some very useful um, programs to it. You can click on history and you can see all of the documentation that's previously been uploaded. It also allows you to email um, us directly to ask questions and vice versa. We can email you to say, um, can we have this? We require this. You can see all of that in the history. You can also um, add additional users to it. So if um, an exhibitor is using various contractors and they would like them to upload the documents themselves, you can create login details for them so that they can go and do that on your behalf. Um, as mentioned, these are the details, but you can find them all in the um, exhibitor manual. The way SCS works is it works via a traffic light system, so you've got red, amber, and green. If the status is set to red, it means that documentation hasn't yet been uploaded and we are still waiting for it. If it is set to amber, it means that we have received information, but amends need to be made to it. Um, again, if, if the status is set to amber, we would write a comment saying, can you please submit this, or we need to see some further information. If the status is set to green, it means that all checks have been complete and we are happy with it. Um, once all of checks have been complete by operations and by the structural engineers, if necessary, all of your statuses will be set to green and then we would email out a permission to build. Once you receive the permission to build, this is us saying that we are happy with you, what you've submitted and we're happy for you to build as per the documents that you have submitted. Um, as I say, it's a very simple system and quite self-explanatory, but again, if you did have any issues, then feel free to obviously contact us and email the inbox, and we would help you along with that. Um, in the exhibitor manual, you will find a detailed guide, step-by-step -step of how to use this system. So just to highlight um, with you guys some exhibitor deadlines. So the first one is... Um, we require all of your documentations, if you are a space-only stand, we require them to be uploaded to SCS by the 8th of April. Um, if they're submitted after this date, they obviously will still be checked, but there will be a delay in getting your permission to build. So we do ask for you to submit them by this date if possible. Um, if you also just have a look on the screen, there is also some other dates to highlight. Again, we suggest that you have all of your orders and stuff in by these dates. If for whatever reason you're unable to submit by these dates, you will be able to place order for electrics, but there is a possibility of a surcharge. So we suggest that you get them in by these dates um, to get the best possible rate. Again, you can find all of these dates in the exhibitor manual where you'll find a checklist um, with everything highlighted. Um, we work with some official contractors um, who we suggest that you use. Um, you will be able to find all of their details in the manual. Um, you can find email addresses and contact numbers. For different services, each contractor's look after different things. So we would advise just giving that manual a good read to check that you are contacting the right people if you have a query regarding AV um, or electrics, etc. So on this screen, you can just see um, a list of people who look after each thing. Um, so uh, this is myself and Liv. These are our contact details, so please feel free to um, note them down. We, I believe we're going to a coffee break now, and Liv and myself will be available. So if anyone has some questions regarding their stand or anything operational that they'd like to ask, please do come up to us, and we are more than happy to um, talk anything through with you. Thank you.